Hi guys, I just wanted to do a quick update of what happened last night at the John Miller meeting. Um, you'll probably see some of the reel of what happened last night after me talking, so I'll put some of the footage up of last night. But basically John came with his beautiful wife Julie and they ministered to our church, which was fantastic. And um, John pretty much preached and then he uh, did some ministry. He prayed for people. And there were great testimonies of people coming up, you know, people being healed um, at the last crusade that he had, which, you know, was like months ago in Sydney, I'm talking about in Sydney, and um, people that were just sitting in the meeting and got healed and they weren't really expecting anything. Um, the other thing was people, um, there was a guy there that was healed from cancer. He was, um, and it, a lot of skeptics out there, I can understand that because I'm a huge skeptic myself, but the fact is that uh, it happened two years ago and he went back to the doctor and they really can't explain what happened, uh, except that they told him two years ago that he had three weeks to live, but two years later he's happy and healthy and nothing wrong with him but he had bone cancer and prostate cancer so um, everything came back normal and he's pretty much very healthy the other thing was that there was a beautiful testimony from Michelle and she was healed from something myalgia I'm sorry Michelle <laughs> I don't remember the name of it. Anyway, it's obviously very serious. She was in chronic pain. And she's totally healed from that. And the specialists also don't know what happened. So if you're a skeptic, I would encourage you to come down. Go and see John if you ever see him traveling around. He's a lot of traveling ministry that he does. Um, I will put a reel of what happened after me talking. And uh, just enjoy that. And you know what? God heals today if you want to come down to GGC Life and be prayed for by John. He's here on Sunday as well, Sunday the 25th of November, 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. Come on down and let's go to the real. Tonight God's gonna to heal people. Yeah. Tonight there's people here tonight, your life will never be the same again after tonight. You've got a point with God for a miracle. The Bible says that Jesus is the same yesterday, today and forever. Man. And the amazing thing is that God heals in different ways. You know, some people get healed instantly. Sometimes it's a process. And uh, I want to encourage you, just keep your heart open to Jesus. And, uh, and you know, maybe, if, you know, Jesus is the healer. And uh, John Mellor is just a vessel. And, you know, God uses believers. He uses Christians who just dare to reach out and pray and, and believe. And so it's a great privilege to be here in Sydney. And, uh, Julie, I just can't wait to see what God's going to do, actually. Let's go. And so she, she came to where Jesus was passing by, taking that risk. Many times it will be a risk. It's always a risk to come to God. It's a risk to reach out to Jesus. It's a risk to serve God. And she took that risk coming to Him. Yeah. And we finally see a lovers verse in verse 44 of chapter 8 in Luke. She said, she came from behind. She came from behind because she shouldn't have been there. She, it's like she snuck, stuck around to touch Him. She came from behind as she was passing by. Now, by Jewish law, if you were a leper, if you were bleeding, you were unclean, I mean, the most, the most obnoxious thing you could do to a, to a Jew is to touch somebody. The greatest insult, the greatest... But she reached out to Scythe and some of that power. And she reached out and she said, You touched me. Man, someone touched me. Someone's gone Scythe with a bit of this anointing from me. Who touched me? And finally, you know, no one owned up to it. And she said, someone touched me because I felt this power leaving me. Someone siphoned it with this power. It's amazing thing was, if it, in the context, Jesus was going to pray for someone else. He wasn't coming to pray for her. He was praying for Jairus' daughter, but she reached out and siphoned it with a bit of that anointing. And tonight, I want to tell you, as I'm praying for people, we can have that same attitude. Yeah. We can siphon a bit of that. Yeah. Uh, in a uh, in Bulgaria, Bulgaria is terrible. The gypsies siphon a lot of power. I tell you what, it's amazing. But we, we can be daring in the spirit to reach out to Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. And she siphoned into the power. She said, Who touched me? I felt power flying out from me. And she was scared because she was being exposed. She had no right to be there. She was unclean. She was facing stoning to death, being stoned to death. But he exposed her. And then he said to her, Verse 48, he said, Daughter, be of good cheer, be encouraged. Your faith has made you well. Go in peace. Your faith has made you well. She dared to believe the impossible. She dared to believe the impossible. And tonight, there's people here, you're here because you've dared to believe the impossible, that Jesus can heal you. You know, He's here right now. 
The power of the Lord is present to heal. And he hasn't changed over 2,000 years. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And, and what happened? You just sitting in congregation. Tell us what happened. Well, I was in agony. I was using every bit of testal fortitude. I could must have just stayed and sit in the seat. And um, during the prayer, the pain just, um, just like a very, very severe cramp, and it just eased up like that, and I haven't, haven't had any since. Come on, hand everybody. The 13th of August last year. The 13th of August. The 13th of August last year. Mm. And, so, and, and so for how long were you suffering for? Oh, well, 18 and a half years. So 18 and a half years. Now, now as I was praying... 18. 18. Yeah. 18 years. Now, now when I was praying, um, um, did you put your hand on your back? You just sat there? I just sat there, I think. Yeah. Now, is it, you think about this. You know, there's Jesus come and touched him in his seat. Yeah. You talk about 18 years of chronic pain. Yeah. And, and 20 seconds it faded away. It's, all, it's true, it is. Yeah. You're going you're gonna to realise that same Jesus who yeah. actually yeah. bedridden with cancer, weren't you? Yeah, I had um, about three weeks to live, actually. That's about two years ago. I <laughs> said, well, and there was no way I could get in a plane. I couldn't even walk out and pick up the mail. But then I said, well, we've got to give it a go. And so God opened the door and we'd arranged, and God bless you, this bloke over here in, the, in a chair. We'd arranged for a chair at the back of the hall because no way I could sit for a couple of hours and listen to anyone talk. So Wait, it's, 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 he was lying in like a bed, weren't you? Yeah. He couldn't even stand up in a meeting. You know, I told my phone up, he said, he's so ill, he's bedridden with cancer, got three weeks to live. I said, the best place for him to be is the meeting. If you're going to die, you're better to die in a meeting than die in a meeting. <laughs> <laughs> and so they actually flew him down. He said, you're in agony, weren't you? Oh, yeah, you wouldn't believe how much pain a person can bear. And so we, when I walked in and saw this couch over here on the channel, then history repeats itself. <laughs> courage, friend, courage, you know. So, and then I went back and uh, my strength improved. And a friend of mine in a local church, he said, are you well enough to come to India? And I said, oh, come on, come on. So off we went to India in a three-week oh. crusade. I have like a 40 years old. And it's gone, it's gone. It's gone? Yes. Wow. Yes, of course. Yes, of course. Oh, and, so, yes. and so when I was praying, did you feel something? Yes, you like me. You put your you hand? Touch me. You touch me. Yeah, of course, everywhere. And oh, it's gone. <laughs> you got a hand everywhere. Yes. I believe and trust in God that he will hear me tonight. Tonight I'll be sleeping very nicely. You probably don't remember me. I do. You're Julie. First Lady healed it. Chatswood. Chatswood. Do you remember fibromyalgia? I'm about six kilos lighter because once God healed me of fibromyalgia, I got my energy levels back. Yeah, so, so, so you had fibromyalgia? Yeah. So how bad was the pain? Um, it was chronic. And God healed you when? When was it? The August. Meetings, was it August, 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 a couple of months ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I was the one that you had running up and down the stage. <laughs> <laughs> and then you, you were healed on the floor of your back. Yeah, probably. Scoliosis, two bulging discs, and um, spinal degeneration. Well, what a hand, everybody. I need to go now. Now. Thank you, Lord. A miracle in Jesus' name. Just leave it around, mate. Yeah, so How's that? Yeah. Feels loose. <laughs> Is it painful? Yeah, I think it might be. Oh. Yeah, just, just move it around. Wow. How's that? Oh, yeah, that's good. That's awesome. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> I've had chronic pain since Easter time. I've had I've had to use my long service, all my sick leave, holiday pay, and I haven't been able to play with my kids properly. My son doesn't get it. He's four. He likes to jump on me and crash. I I feel uh, like I have a lot of referred pain, and that's gone. It was up here from from this disc thing. That's good. How are they feeling now? Feel it. Just walk along there. Is the pain gone? The pain's gone, but just. It feels weird. It feels strange. <laughs> so, so how does it feel, try to explain, how does it feel strange? Well, before I, I 
couldn't move my feet or anything. And I had didn't have much feeling in my legs, but now it just feels like. You can feel them. Yeah. Give a good hand, everybody. Wow. So you've been that pain at numbers for how long? I was born like that. So I like. So, uh, for the first time in your life, the pain has gone and the feelings come back. Yeah. It's been very really weird. <laughs> Look along. <laughs> yeah, there's a whole lot of people. Okay. So, how does it feel to walk and have the feeling? No, that's not it. That's Is it amazing? Beyond amazing. And, and, and it's called, what's it called? It's, what's it called? CMP. CMT. Shakamari tooth disease. Is is a rare one? What is it? Shakamari.